I'm the world's tallest female bodybuilder and trolls stare at me, but I love my height and chiseled frame. So I thought this would be a pretty interesting article to kind of just commentate on. So the world's tallest female bodybuilder has told how she loves her height even if trolls stop and stare at her in the street. So at 5 foot 11, Point nine two inches, which is just basically like six foot. Maria Wattel is taller than any other professional female bodybuilder, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. Now you gotta keep in mind, this is purely professional female bodybuilder, right? There's obviously other tall female athletes, but this is specifically bodybuilder. Let's see. The 42-year-old dwarfs many of the men at her gym in Athens, Greece, and says some of them can appear jealous of her size. But despite loving her career, she is also used to people staring at her in the street and says it is just something she just has to live with. People on the street, when they see me, everybody's always looking at me, the IFBB pro told the U.S. Sun. That's just something I have to live with, and that's okay. I like being me, I like what I do, and that comes with a package. If I would have been shorter, nobody would have noticed me. Maria, whose great-grandmother was 196 centimeters tall, said some men appear can appear jealous of her frame in the gym, and she was also once left shocked when a man spat at her in the street. <laughs> What the hell? It's the kind of attention the sportswoman is forced to warn pals about and even apologizes to them in advance. I apologize if I meet some new friends or I had to say to my partner when we go out, be aware people are going to stare, Maria said. So I'm even trying to apologize to other people you know because it's me that you're going to look at. I'm sorry if you're in the group with me, because by definition, people are going to look at you as well. Now, here's the thing, right? She's trying to basically attribute this to basically her height. But I don't think her height is really what is a, like grabbing the attention of all these people. I think it's the fact that she's a female professional bodybuilder. So her physique as a female professional bodybuilder who is probably using a good amount of performance-enhancing ingredients, kind of like the Liver King, maybe not as much as the Liver King, but kind of like the Liver King, will dramatically change your body to something that doesn't really look normal per se, right? So obviously people are going to stare. People are going to judge. That's like the part of the whole thing. Has, I don't think it has really anything to do with her height. I think it's purely because she's a pro bodybuilder. The former road championship medal holder trains for three hours a day and sticks to a rigid diet when she's competing. Now, here's the thing. She must be making good enough money doing whatever she is that she's doing, I'm guessing as a pro bodybuilder, to be able to fund this. Or she's basically funding this because maybe she's like an influencer or something. Let's see. But she also likes to strike a balance between muscles and femininity and doesn't let her career get in the way of spending time with her loved ones. She says she shows them the same level of respect and understanding as she shows her sport and believes it's an important message for any business to follow. Maria said, I love what I do, but I also love the people around me and the understanding that they have for me in the time that really matters. When I go towards a show, I should show the same respect and understanding for them. She added, it would be really cool if almost all the women on earth tried some sort of bodybuilding regimen. She said, as a form of meditation, as a form of letting off steam, and trying to understand themselves. I want girls to look up to women and say that's how I want to look. She's really powerful. It's pure. It's real. You can learn a lot from a bodybuilder. I mean, feel free to give your thoughts on this. I don't think there's necessarily anything bad in 
terms of like what she's doing. The only problem that I see with this is that this is going to put a burden on your health. And by doing so, it's actually going to probably increase your health costs. So like your health insurance is going to be more expensive. Potentially your life insurance is going to be more expensive. Your daily expenses are just going to be expensive. Because here's the thing. A lot of people really underestimate just how much it actually costs to feed basically someone who's into the fitness industry or like a pro bodybuilder or whatever. And what's crazy is that if these pro bodybuilders don't have a good sponsor, if they aren't getting paid as being like a fitness influencer or whatever, if they don't have some sort of entrepreneurial side to them, they are practically in the red all the time just trying to compete, which is kind of crazy, right? Because there's really not a lot of money in professional bodybuilding, girl or guy, right? Especially the girls, but even the guys don't really get paid much unless you're like Mr. Olympia or whatever. So I'm just going to assume something, and I don't know if this is the case, I'm assuming that she probably has a pretty big following on like TikTok or Instagram or whatever, and then probably also leads to maybe like an OnlyFans or something to that equivalent. Otherwise, I don't know how she's basically funding the lifestyle of a professional bodybuilder because we're potentially talking about like spending 20 grand on just food and supplements and then we're not even considering how much it costs for the actual hormonal replacement type of stuff which might end up being like 10 grand a month maybe even 20 grand a month depending on what she's using so this sort of lifestyle can be extremely expensive depending on how you go about it right so I'm assuming that she's probably making really really good money I just don't really know how she's actually making a lot of money. But let's see, hold on, wait. So, let's see. So, Maria Wattel. Okay, so Maria Wattel on Instagram. Okay, Maria Wattel, IFBB Pro, tallest female professional bodybuilder in the world. This is the link in the bio. Let's check that. But let's see. I mean, she has 53.1 thousand followers, so that's definitely a good amount of followers. She seems to have pretty good engagement on her social media. What is this? Can't click it, blah, blah, blah. And again, feel free to give your thoughts if you stumble upon this. Let's see. Marie Hotel. VIP fans. Vimeo website. Yeah, just... So this is on her website, and here's the thing. Just from like the photo on her website at maria com, there is 0% chance that she is a natural bodybuilder. Straight up, 0%. Just from looking at her. I don't know if she's like... Videos. Clips can be purchased on Vimeo OTT platform. Okay, so basically, I guess she pretty much does what I'm thinking she does, kind of similar to like an OnlyFans type of situation, right? But yeah, so this is the thing. I don't think people basically judging her has anything to do with her height. I think it's purely because of the amount of 
drug abuse that she might be using. So I think that's the main thing. Feel free to give your thoughts. And really, again, she has to be making a lot of money per month to justify this sort of lifestyle in terms of just pure numbers, right? Because here's the thing. Based off what, like, the Liver King was taking as, like, an example, one of his drugs that he was taking, one of his hormones, which was, like, human growth hormone, was costing him about $15,000 a month. That was just one, and he was taking multiple. So I don't know what she's taking, but it could easily be five grand a month, ten grand a month, fifteen grand a month, twenty grand a month, maybe even thirty grand a month for potentially what she's taking. Not to mention any coaching that she's getting done because she is a professional. Like we're talking about some serious money. So I'm going to guess that her probably yearly expenses just purely bodybuilding related might be close to like two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay? That means that she needs to be making at least six hundred thousand dollars a year, probably seven hundred thousand dollars a year for it to even make any amount of sense for her to go down this path. Right? Which the reality is she probably is doing it. Because Again, her Instagram follower account, right, let's see, is at 53.1 thousand followers. Uh, let's see, her, I don't know, I guess Twitter is probably roughly the same. Oh, she's got a YouTube. Interesting. Her YouTube is pretty uh, small compared to her other stuff. But now she's at six foot one, even though it's technically five eleven. Interesting. But yes, yeah, so she's probably just making like really custom customized OnlyFans type of videos to I guess guys who might have like a fetish of this sort of thing and might be making or clearing like a million dollars a year is what I'm guessing that she's probably making is at least a million dollars a year. And some people might say, like, that might be kind of crazy. But from what it seems like, she offers, like, customized videos, which she probably could charge maybe $1,000. So if she has, like, a 1,000 people paying her $1,000, that's a million dollars right there. Now she has, like, 2,000 people going down that path out of the 50-something thousand followers. You can see how this could kind of add up without too much effort. Right? Not to mention, who knows what the type of videos actually are. I didn't go down that path of like research. But still, it's just one, it's interesting to see how people are able to make a lot of money. Two, what are you willing to do to make a certain type of money? Right? So, for example, if you're a girl, would you be willing to go down this path? One, if you like bodybuilding, and then two, for the money. Are you willing to completely permanently change your bone structure, your physical looks to this extent for money? Some people would, right? Some people would be willing to go down that path. Even if it potentially might lessen your total amount of years on this planet, people are still potentially willing to go down that path. So, again, feel free to give your thoughts. If you want to learn how to get a debt, mess your money, go down below or go to 40inbox.com.